welcome to On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway, I'm the founder of the Tudor Society and also the author of this book, On This Day in Tudor History, that has served as inspiration for me to do these uh, daily videos for you, just bringing you births, deaths, marriages, battles, executions, you name it, Tudor events on a day-by-day -day basis. Now I do apologise for any bangings, um, we've got building work going on and all kinds of chaos in the house at the moment. Okay, 25th of April, on this day in 1530, 1557, I'm reading from my book, Thomas Stafford, son of Henry Stafford, 10th Baron Stafford, and Ursula Pole, now Ursula Pole was the daughter of Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, seized Scarborough Castle, declared himself the Lord Thomas Stafford, son to the Lord Henry, rightful Duke of Buckingham, then proclaimed himself protector of the realm. He also denounced Mary's marriage to Philip, and of course that's Queen Mary I's marriage to Philip of Spain, and warned the people that they would be made slaves by the Spaniards, thus inciting rebellion. Now his rebellion backfired, just like Wyatt's rebellion did as well, due to lack of support and he and his followers were captured by the Earl of Westmoreland on the 28th of April. Stafford was executed for treason on the 28th of May 1557 at Tyburn. This wasn't his first brush with trouble. He'd been involved in Wyatt's rebellion of 1554, as I mentioned, that failed rebellion, and he'd been imprisoned in Fleet Prison in London as a result of that. And then while in exile in France, he plotted to murder Sir William Pickering. So this Thomas Stafford was, you get the gist that he's a little bit of a troublemaker. His seizing of Scarborough Castle was the catalyst for the English de declaration of war, sorry, on France because Stafford had been supported by around a hundred Frenchmen. This war resulted in the loss of Calais, that English territory that had been um, English for centuries, um, the last territory on uh, mainland Europe. And that was something that haunted Queen Mary I for the remaining months of her life. And I'm paraphrasing here, but uh, she said that you know, when she died, um, that they would find, uh, you know, Calais written on her heart because of the fact that, you know, Calais had been lost in her reign and it was such a devastating blow for England. So that's what happened on this day in Tudor history, the 28th, 25th sorry, of April 1557, Thomas Stafford seized Scarborough Castle and declared himself protector of the realm because he did not agree with Mary I uh, being married to Philip of Spain. And of course he then came to a rather sticky end. Right, I'll see you tomorrow with another On This Day in Tudor History event. I do hope you're enjoying these daily videos. It's so encouraging to read your comments and to see all your likes and that. I really do appreciate them. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking there, hit the bell to be notified, but you know that I'm going to be back tomorrow with more Tudor goodies for you. Take care. Bye-bye.